Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. It is Wednesday. I skipped yesterday uh, for doing a, a devotion and in part I was just really torn. I've struggled with what's going on in our country and uh, wanted to take another day and uh, there's a word that kept popping into my mind that I just wanted to really think about and wanted to study up on a little bit. On Monday I talked about Romans 12, verses 9 to 21, reading that about how we can overcome evil with good and how we can try to make a difference in this world and um, have common ground with one another, whether we're black or white or green or yellow or pink. It doesn't matter whether we have tattoos all over our body or ear piercings or piercings all over. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have one common ground, and that's we were all created in the image of God. And and that becomes our common ground. And a word that's just, it's just sticking in me that I want to just pass on today for just a couple minutes and maybe ramble a little bit about it, is the word respect. I don't think that word has been used enough. And I think we, in our world, we do not respect one another. We fight with one another. We argue with one another. Just put a differing opinion from someone on Facebook. And and as a Christian, I, I could be labeled as an intolerant uh, bigot. Uh, I, I'm a phobia about whatever. It doesn't mean I have a phobia about something or, or that I'm narrow-minded or I'm a bigot. It just means my view is different than yours. And the call ultimately is for us to respect one another. You might not realize it, but the word respect really isn't used a whole lot in the Bible. There's 26 references in the entire Bible in the English Standard Version for the word respect. Sometimes it doesn't really deal with what we're talking about. And only in a couple of instances does the Bible say to respect someone. And that word comes out of the word for, for phobia, phobos. And, and what it means is to fear and, and that you're afraid. And ultimately, it, it shifts over to have reverence. And that's what we're supposed to have for God. We're supposed to have this healthy reverence for God, even a healthy fear of God. Not that God's going to punish us, but we, we honor and we glorify God. And we don't walk around afraid, but we have this healthy fear. It's really a lot of times what kids have for parents is a healthy fear. And maybe that doesn't all make sense. But the bottom line is that we are called ultimately to live a life that makes a difference. And we make that difference by loving one another, by, by, by showing grace and, and by being gentle. And, and, you know, it's the fruits of the Spirit to have love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, uh, self-control. It is to demonstrate that. It is to love one another. It's a reminder of what Paul says in Philippians 2. We've talked about it as one of my favorite verses. When Paul says, do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit. But in humility, now listen to this. But in humilities, count others as more significant than yourself. Really? Count others as more significant than yourself. Can you imagine if we did that? Can you imagine if we showed respect to one another, if we were willing to sit and listen and discuss? That would make so much of a difference. I, I don't know how the world is going to change. I, I don't know how it'll change as a result of the of protests and rioting. I don't know. I don't know. But what we need to do is to sit down and to talk and to love one another, to look at someone who is different, different color, different hairstyle, multicolored here, it doesn't matter. Tattoos all over, it doesn't matter. Piercings all over, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is to love one another and to show it by respecting one another, by living life in all humility, in all humility, being humble, not arrogant, not prideful, not egotistical, but in all humility and counting others as more significant than yourself. Maybe then we can make a difference. Hopefully we can have that conversation that continues, doing it with love, 
with grace and coming together as brothers and sisters of all colors, of all races, of all, all kinds, and making a difference in this world. Have a great day. God bless you.